is Stefanie Holzwart and I work on the topic of urban mobility in UN Habitat, the United Nations Human Settlements Programme. From UN Habitat, we are very happy to launch this lecture series called Taking Sustainable Urban Mobility to the Next Level. We hope that participants will find this course useful for their work in designing and implementing sustainable urban mobility solutions. We hope you will also take this opportunity to engage with knowledgeable experts in the field of urban mobility and share your experience with them while also gaining from their experience. In UN Habitat, we believe that cities are engines of economic and social development if they are well planned and managed. However, most cities are faced with traffic congestion, rising greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. In addition, millions of people, particularly the most vulnerable, including pedestrians and cyclists, die on our roads each year. The conventional approach to address urban transport challenges has been to build more roads, but this only encourages more car-based traffic. We need to change the paradigm. We need to focus on transport as a means and not an end in itself. Transport ensures access for all to opportunities, goods, services and other amenities. Improved public transport integrated with safe and attractive facilities for walking and cycling can make the city fully accessible. During the current COVID crisis, we have come to realize even more the importance of a well-managed and safe mobility system. We cannot emphasize enough that well-planned and properly managed transport can make a great contribution towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals that were adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015. The SDGs have illustrated an urgent call for action by all countries to be delivered in a global partnership. And guess what? Transport contributes directly to at least eight of the 17 goals including the ones on food security, health, road safety, energy, infrastructure, cities and human settlements and climate change. Also, the new urban agenda, which was adopted at the Habitat 3 conference in Quito in Ecuador in October 2016, strongly recognizes the role of transport in leveraging transformative urbanization. It commits to a significant increase in accessible, safe, efficient, affordable and sustainable infrastructure for public transport as well as for the non-motorized transport options of walking and cycling, prioritizing them over private motorized transport. It also calls for better coordinated transport and land use planning, leading to a reduction of travel needs. It is against this background that the Academy of Sustainable Urban Mobility came into life in order to equip decision makers with the knowledge to bring forward policies and plans that promote sustainable and innovative urban mobility. The Academy was established in April 2017 and since then has gone into three editions. The first two taking place in Germany and Austria in 2017 and 2018 while the third edition took place in La Paz, Bolivia and Sao Paulo, Brazil in 2019. Around 25 global decision makers in transport are invited annually to join this capacity development course for one week in a city with best practice examples of urban mobility. Participants learn from international and local experts during lectures and field visits. So far, a total of 72 participants from 37 different countries have benefited from the learnings that the Academy offered to them. This online course grew out of the partnership of the Academy, including various private sector companies, development organizations, NGOs, as well as development banks. With your participation in this online course, you can illustrate your motivation in attending an upcoming Academy of Sustainable Urban Mobility. After a brief registration, you can inform yourself in more detail about the Academy and express your interest in participating in a future event. We would like to invite you to participate in this course and watch the videos and hope that you will enjoy listening to our selected experts. We also invite your comments and questions which you can send to the email address that you can see below.